Good morning, 47. Our Providence contact has shared the identity of the Shadow Client, a former mercenary and bodyguard by the name of Lucas Gray. His past is a black void, but our analysts are digging deep. Meanwhile, we've had a breakthrough of our own. Comparing the malicious attack patterns with global shipping and transportation routes, we've figured out how Mr. Gray and his paramilitaries move around the world undetected. They're using the distribution network of the Delgado Cartel, Colombia's biggest drug manufacturer. Clearly, Gray must have struck a deal with the Delgados. Consequently, if we can cripple the cartel, we can severely limit the malicious strike range. But to do so, we need to slay a three-headed serpent. Sociopathic cartel head Rico Delgado and his two closest lieutenants, PR guru Andrea Martinez and savant chemist Jorge Franco. With equal parts guts and guile, Rico Delgado runs a thriving billion-dollar criminal empire. The word is, the brutal and volatile cartel head is hell-bent on becoming the number one drug lord in the world. To achieve this, Martinez, a childhood friend of Delgado's, has been buttering up state leaders and decision makers, paving the way for an expansion of the Delgado logistics network, while the brilliant but aloof and antisocial Franco has been hard at work developing a new type of super cocaine. So, three of Colombia's most infamous crime lords inhabiting a decidedly hostile environment. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Colombia, 47. The remote village of Santa Fortuna awaits you deep inside the Colombian rainforest. An iron-fisted Delgado cartel rules over the village and its surroundings. Security around Santa Fortuna and the closed-off cartel compound is extremely tight. Armed Sicarios patrol the streets of the village, ready to enforce harsh punishments to those who do not comply. Rumors persist of hidden transportation cave systems connecting the village, the cartel compound, and the hidden coca fields beyond. It is a rare occurrence to have all three cartel leaders present in the village at the same time. Expect that all targets are protected by scrupulous killers armed with automatic weapons. Rico Delgado inhabits his fortified mansion on the outskirts of the village, while Andrea Martinez can be found in her village office or around Santa Fortuna itself. And Jorge Franco is engaged in development of a new drug in his field laboratory. Happy hunting, 47. Dear Lord, what did I drink? My guess, all of it. Oh, I hate it. Thanks for waking me up, compadre. No problem, compadre. You should come to the unveiling. It's going to be quite the show. Viva la musica and all that. Good luck.
so filthy. And by the looks of it, nobody ever bathes either. How can people live like this? I don't know. It kinda grows on you. Just spend more time here. You'll see. Oh. Ah, sí. Ahora me acuerdo. Have you heard about David's new friend? What? She's apparently a what? really oh, sweet, wealthy American woman. Also, she's 75. Shit, did I oversee? Not judging. Just the Martinez saying. lady on You're going to be gone, aren't you? I didn't see anything. Okay, let me have it. Danny. Get all the gossip off your chest. Go check the stage. Maybe the others are still there. Thanks, compadre. That foundation look entirely stable to you? Well, I'm not amazed on that. No. No, it doesn't. There should be a little crumbling around the edges. I don't know, Rico, eh? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Aren't you loco? Don't talk about the boss like that, or do we go straight to the people of the bed? Oh. I got to go and drain the liter. Drank so much cerveza last night. Yeah. Practically finished the whole damn barrel single-handed. Maybe not the greatest idea. So
Ay, Dios mío. Ay, my head. Mm, what a party. Looks like it. Holy shit! You shaved your head? Amigo, you do the craziest things. It was time for a change. Oh, by the way, did you catch Raul? He talked about trying to take the midnight bus. That crazy fool didn't have any money. He must be by the cliffside. to get everything fixed? Uh, it's really difficult. I'm working. We're all working on it. So the statue is still unstable? Yes, Martinez. But as long as no one tampers with it, it's cool. <sighs> and the band? Still missing. Guess what else will be missing if you don't get this in order? I'm returning to my office. Get this fixed now. I, I will take care of it. Sí, se lo pregunta porque joder, así se lo tengo. wonderful, grateful people of Santa Fortuna. It brings warmth to my heart to see you here today. For years, decades, we have struggled against the oppressive forces of the outside world. For years, the Delgado Cartel has been a bulwark against those who seek to do harm to you all. Well, today, we celebrate this struggle and the victories we have earned. Today, I grant you this symbol of freedom and rebellion. May it forever light your days and nights with hope of greatness and serve as something to aspire to. All of you can become as me one day. Drum roll, please. Oh, 
Marco Delgado has been eliminated. Nicely done. Command, everything quiet in the square. Over. Hey, go now. Find somewhere safe. Ah, I know he's here. Don't let him get away. Don't worry. What's that, Command? Okay, continue with I never skip another mass. Just please. past the letter around the basement bar at the party last night. Weird to think Hector and Martinez used to be an idol. I mean, he's batshit crazy. She's so hyper luxurious. She can't even stand to be in her village mansion for too long. Talk about an old couple. Yeah, I'd love to see her face if she ever found a letter, though. Rumor has it, she hates him. That's my impression as well. That's You need to be extra careful around the family items. Mr. Delgado got some important pictures and things like that in his trophy room that you need to be very gentle with. Sure, I understand. He told me about the cello and some of the other things. 
I had no idea the Delgado family immigrated from Chile. Well, Rico's uncle, Fernando, was from Chile. Apparently, he was killed alongside his son, Rico's cousin. He sounds pretty I guess Hector and Martinez was an item back in the day. And he wants to uh, rekindle the flame, as he writes. It's actually very moving. I'm not a romantic guy or anything, but I must admit I felt something stir inside me when I read it. I believe this is yours. My letter? You found it. You have no idea how long I've been looking for this. You know what? Take this. Thank you.
step back. Let the pros do their thing. Where's Andrea? Don't mind me, Herman. I want to see her. I need to see her. Miss Martinez is inside, Mr. Delgado, but she left strict instructions. She uh, doesn't want to see you. Andrea. Alberto Delgado. Will be finished. Understood, cabron? Yes, Mr. Delgado. I'm just the messenger. What do you want, Hector? I came back from the clinic. I sent gifts, letters. You didn't reply to any of them. We spent time together, Andrea. It meant something. It was just a fling, Hector. You kept saying that, but it's not true. You know that. We share something special. I know I was. Please, por favor. I made little mistakes, but I have changed. Andrea! Sleeping with the Gomez twins was a little mistake, Hector. You are a disaster, and I will not let you back into my personal life. You need to leave. I will not let you treat me like this, Andrea. I demand respect. I will not let you go. Don't confuse me with your other women, Hector. I am not your possession. I make my own decisions in life. Please read the letter, Andrea. At least give me that much respect. Fine. Give me the letter and get the hell out of here, Hector. Don't mind me. I 
Martinez is down. Good work. Gosh darn it. Hey, what's up, man? Sit down, relax. The universe will correct itself again, right? I don't know, man. I've been like smuggling this cocaine souvenir around the world, right? I need to get into this dude, uh, Franco. But man, it, it broke. It's supposed to be in one piece when I deliver it over by some cave entrance behind the pharmacy. But he broke. Bummer, man. Maybe just glue it together? I don't know. I think it's gonna ruin the taste test. This Franco guy is like a bloodhound, but, you know, with taste, not smell. You know? Yeah, man, that's too bad. I'd still try the glue, you know? I'm so urgent. Why doesn't she just get him herself? She's got a lot in her mind. The construction of the new plant has been stalled for days now because of what they found. She needs him to plant the plant. Wait a moment, friend. Let me sound that light of your surrounding Caress your mind and spirits on this job. Another traveler finds his way here in search of a spiritual release. Come on in, my friend, and feel free to join us. Everyone is an equal in the eyes of your spirits. Wow, they're really out of it. The brew has transported them to a place of tranquility and calm. It's a spiritual space for meditation and learning about oneself. You will see, once you try. Yeah, but I mean, they're like completely stoned. They perceive other things. Their senses no longer register their physical surroundings, but rather the spirit world, which is all around us. Freaky.
do it. I can smell. We've never seen anything quite as terrible as this. What is it thinking? Targets neutralized. This should paralyze the cartel. Excellent work, 47. Now head for an exit. <laughs> <laughs> 